Jefferson City's Convention and Visitors Bureau, and we're talking a little bit with Sarah about some of the things she gets to do in her role here at the CVB, and also a little bit about her feelings on Jefferson City. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Well, Sarah, tell us a little bit about uh, your role at the CVB, how long you've been here, and also kind of what you do. Sure. Well, I'm the Communications Manager for the Convention and Visitors Bureau, and I actually started this job right out of college. This is my first job out of college, and I've been here for just over five and a half years. Um, it has been quite a ride. It's been so much fun um, coming in and um, learning about the position as it was, and then kind of growing the position and making it um, work for what's going on in our society now. That's the thing. Um, one of the great things about the Convention of Visitors Bureau is that we are a small office, and so we're able to adjust and change things to really um, to really follow the trends that are going on in travel and also in just our society in general. Um, so as the communications manager, I work with the media a lot. I work with travel writers who want to come in and experience Jefferson City so that they can write about our, our community and um, convince people to come visit Jefferson City. What would you say the best part of your job is? I think the best part of my job is that every day we get to help people have fun. I mean, really, that's what we're all about. We're all about getting people to enjoy their time in Jefferson City. And so I just really enjoy promoting all the great things that we have going on in Jefferson City. The attractions, the events, the restaurants, the shopping. You know, I really just really love knowing what's happening in our town and being able to share that information with visitors and on a daily basis. Now, obviously, this office concentrates a lot on visitors, tourists, people coming in from outside of the city, but do you get a chance to interact with people who live in the community? I do. I think one of the things that's so important with visitors is that we need to know what's going on in Jefferson City so we can share that information with them. So um, a lot of times I'm just trying to keep apprised of different projects that are going on in Jefferson City or a big event that's coming up so we can share that information with the people who may be visiting our town. Um, so I've done a lot of different things. Um, one of the big projects that I worked on was the Tour Missouri Professional Cycling Race. And um, that was just a great experience to bring in people, a whole different demographic of people to Jefferson City. Um, so things like that are just, that's just one example of some of the things that um, I get to work with the community on, on, the, on one side of things, but it also is relevant to visitors. Um, in your interactions with the community, talking with the people who live here, how would you describe the people that live in Jefferson City to people that are coming in to visit? Well, I think Jefferson City um, is a very tight-knit community, but we, I think, are a very friendly community. We have visitors come in all the time, and I think that sometimes, as Jefferson City residents, we take it for granted, but people really do think that we are a friendly community and that we're very welcoming and warm-hearted. Um, when people come to visit Jefferson City, they talk about how friendly the people who, you know, are their servers at a restaurant are. And that's really great to hear as, as being somebody who's lived in Jefferson City all their lives and has always thought that people were really nice and everything. Um, it's always good to hear an outsider's perspective. So I think that that general feeling of people being welcome, um, and I think that feeling is one that is portrayed to people who come to Jefferson City. Well, what do you like best about living in Jefferson City? I mean, you can always make your home just about anywhere. What keeps you here? <laughs> um, I think that tight-knit community is really important to me. I really enjoy being able to go out during the day and see people that I know. Um, to me, it's not as appealing to be able to walk down a street and be anonymous. I mean, I really like the idea of knowing the people in your community and having personal connections with the people that you work with on a day-to-day -day basis, but the people that you also patronize in your personal life. And that's one of the things that I really enjoy about Jefferson City. Um, I think another great thing is that everything's close. I mean, it's really easy to get places. You don't have to sit in traffic for 20, 30 minutes to get to work. I have a five-minute drive to work every morning, and it's great because, you know, I get to sleep a little more, and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so, I mean, just things like that that I think um, – we often take for granted being, you know, in a small community, but when you go to other cities that, you know, don't have the, the, um, the uh, short travel distances and things like that, it's, you really do recognize the benefit of that type of thing. Well, one of the things that we've always talked about is that Jefferson City, while it's a great place to live and a great place to visit, there's always room for improvement. There's always a way a community can grow. If Jefferson City could change one thing or really focus on developing one concept, what do you think that needs to be? 
You know, I honestly don't think there's one project that would be the end all be all of Jefferson City. I really think that there are so many great ideas out there and we just need to get behind all of them, you know, and, and then whichever projects kind of come to the forefront and move forward. Um, I think that that's the way it needs to be. I think that it's, it's more of an attitude thing. It's not necessarily um, one tangible item that will change the face of Jefferson City. Um, I think that as our community grows, we as residents need to be supportive of that growth. And I think that growth may not always be what people are used to, but I think that it's important to keep an open mind and really push forward for that growth and to accept, accept some of the things that may not be the same old, same old conservative um, types of views, but really to be open-minded to new things that are coming in. And with that in mind, I mean, any project that we'll, we um, get behind as a community and support and push forward, I think that any of those projects that that have um, been mentioned in the news and, and that are on people's minds, I think any of those will really improve Jefferson City. All right. Sarah, thank you so much for talking to us today. Absolutely. I'd like to thank all of our viewers at home for watching JCTV. Oh